Hey guys, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call this video, some kind of organised, tidy scenario. But yeah, I've been saying for ages that I need to get this stuff sorted. So I was having a day today where I was cleaning my mirrors, changed my bed, well, put my bed sheets in for washing, waiting for them to come back out. And I feel like I'm so sick of this. So this I actually, this used to be in against the bed. It's a bedside table, it should be in against the bed. I moved it the last time I was hoovering. Well, not the last time, but a few times ago when I was hoovering so that I could hoover underneath it and I've literally never even moved it back. But basically when that wardrobe door is closed over, I've got this here now, I've got these things around it. I can't even get into this bit of my wardrobe. So we definitely need a bit of an organise. And I feel like the, the main bit, so I've got some beauty stuff here. But the main bit is definitely this, well, mainly this absolute. Do you know this doesn't even look as bad on camera as it is in real life. It is so, so messy. And then this I want to sort out and reorganise. But most of that I kind of want to try and get into the bureau. But I feel like the thing is, as much as that's messy, like it's it's not ideal, but it's fine. This is like an accessibility issue. So I'm going to start with this. I'm not somebody who does a massive seasonal switch over. I live in Scotland, we can get four seasons in a day here, the time of year can mean very very little, but I think it is fair to say, regardless of the weather, wicker bags are probably not massively what I'm going to be carrying in winter, so I think what I'm going to do first of all is pull out the wicker bags and put them under the bed. I like how I said that as if there were so many of them. So I've got two wicker bags. This one is my elephant. This one's my little frog. In here is my Longchamp Le Pliage. That's like the string tote that I took to London in July. So I'm going to put these away under the bed because I feel like those three bags will definitely not be touched um, in the next little while. I think the next thing I want to sort is actually this sort of cubby hole here. So I had that Longchamp bag in there. So even taking that out has definitely sorted that out. But a lot of these papers relate to a project that I have at the moment finished working on. So I'm going to try and find a box to put everything related to that project into a box all together so that I can pull it back out if need be when the time is right. But for now we're finished working that one so it doesn't need to be easily accessible the way it is at the moment. So I've just pulled out these two boxes which were here. This one's full it's got shoes and boots in it which them being in the box as I said this has all been completely inaccessible but I absolutely was not pulling that box out so I've basically not touched any of them so far and a lot of them are like winter boots and they're black boots and then I was actually looking for that I couldn't figure out where I'd put them and then this other box has just got these brown ankle boots in it so I think what I'm going to do well definitely what I'm going to do is take the ankle boots out of this one clean that box up and then decant the papers relating to the project that those papers relate to into this. Okay so we have one empty shelf here. Some of the stuff from that shelf is now sitting here so this is stuff that's like stationary bits and pieces that I think will look nice in the bureau and that I will use. Keeping them there just now. Not really sure what I'm doing with them but I'm keeping them there just now. I've also got these William Morris scented drawer liners. The plan is to put them in those drawers. Then I have put the papers relating to that project in here and then I've got a little small pile of papers that I don't need anymore that I can shred and recycle. I've just cut the ladder to look at this top shelf here. So I've got loads of space in this top shelf, but it's not very accessible. So that's stuff in that box, like stationary stuff, papers, stuff I might need access to. I've got shoes here, but these are all like canvas trainers that I'm not going to wear until next year when it's summertime again. But I do want them to just stay there because I see them and I remember them. One pair of shoes that I've brought down from the loft here, but I've got loads more like nice shoes in the loft that I want to bring down. So whether I can make them fit on some of these shelves or here, I don't really know. This is a perfume box that could go there. That's a bag of stuff. These chippy things at the back here, that's what some of my jewellery gift coins and things have come in. It's just basically packaging that I'm holding on to. Very nice packaging though, but I might try and put that up the loft. This I've kept in a similar vein. It's a Gucci box from last year. I loved the actual box, or from two years ago, I think, actually now. And I've got some Disneyland tiaras in it. But I kept that box down because I thought I might like do something with it because it's such a nice box. I'll maybe just set that there just now but I want to use that box for something because it's so lovely. But I think what I'll do is I'll take this down and put this stuff up the loft. 
Okay, so I've taken the chupy stuff down and I've put that box of papers up there so that if I need it, it's still easier to access than like putting it in the loft or whatever, but it's it's out of the way, it's not taking up space here. So I've given this shelf a little wash down method all-purpose cleaner. I think what I want to do actually is just pull out all of that stuff, figure out what it all is. The two shoe boxes that were there, these are like sandals, but I'm going to keep them, I'm not going to put them up the loft or under the bed. I am going to keep them down because I feel like I might wear them you know, on a night out or whatever. I'm not going to wait for summer to come back around. So I'm going to put these there with those shoes and I'm going to do the same with these. So I got these boots when I went to Newcastle earlier this year. My gran bought them for me. I really, really like them, but I was planning to wear them this winter, but I've actually booked to go to Alaska next year, which I am so excited about, but I am definitely going on a super strict no buy next year. Like, with very little exceptions. I've been trying to do an no-buy, well, I've not been trying to do it. I have done an no-buy when I've been at home this year, but I gave myself exceptions for holidays and stuff. Whereas next year I want to be on an no-buy, but really, really strict about it. But I know for going on holiday, I feel like that's the sort of thing that you quite often feel like you would like to have new things for. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually just not use these this winter and put them up there as well and keep these to be my Alaska boots for next year. That box there, it was in here. It's just an empty box from the vampire's wife that one of my dresses came in. As you can see, I like packaging. I tend to keep a hold of packaging. So it's literally just a plain cardboard box that says the vampire's wife on it. And I have held on to it, but I'm going to put that into recycling. Be vaguely sensible, keep a hold of this packaging, but I'll recycle that one. You know, there's my line. I'm being somewhat reasonable. Sort of. The two Clark's boxes are up there and it does show you on the front of the box what shoes they are. So I should, in theory, remember that. But in terms of what else is down here, this is my Del Rey. So we'll just add this to the handbag pile and another handbag here. Then under here I have my clothes steamer obviously getting so much use like shoved in the corner where i couldn't get to it and then one last box i think this is my hair care stuff yes it is that's everything out from underneath there so in this top one there there's a handbag that's an empty Bella Freud box. That Gucci box has got some lipsticks in it. These accessories, accessories are something I feel like I need to figure out where I'm putting. Originally, I had very much planned uh, one of these glass fronted drawers to be for my accessories, but I've got knitwear in two drawers, t-shirts and long sleeve tops in the top drawer there, underwear in one of the drawers that name pyjamas and gym wear in the bottom drawer. I'm really, I wear a lot of knitwear, so although that's taken over two drawers, that's what I wear to work pretty much every day, so I feel like I can't really condense it down. It's certainly not from two drawers to one drawer kind of thing. Basically, I don't see any of these drawers. Even if I was to do a clear out, I could probably get rid of the odd thing, but I don't think I'm going to clear out a full drawer. So my accessories are there. I don't know if they could maybe go into this, into one of these drawers, but I'd need to sort the beauty stuff first, which this is, the beauty stuff is such a big task that that will be a separate video. This is, this is just quite a casual sort of tidy and organised with me video. So I have just hoovered in the wardrobe there. Um, in terms of in that space there, this box was in there. This is one of those IKEA storage boxes for one of their shelving units. This shelving unit is not from IKEA. It was just made from wood for me, but it's just worked out quite handily that that fits perfectly in there. Now that did have all my Christmas jumpers in it, which obviously because we're in the season, I've taken them out and put them into my knitwear drawers, which now barely open because extra knitwear has been shoved in. But because this stuff has been sitting in the floor, in front of it it's not very accessible because in theory I could have just kept the Christmas jumpers in there but this kind of blocks it from being something I can get in and out of so I don't quite know what to do with that. I've got a blanket in there at the moment like a spare blanket but we're not too fussed about the blanket. As you can maybe gather from looking at this I did originally try and hang stuff up in this wardrobe so that it went short to long although quotes are at the front and that's quite a long quote there so that's going to kind of muck that up as soon as I even just put it at the end of the coats. But as obviously I've said, with the accessibility, I've just been like shoving the doors down to the end and just using this very small bit here. So that's why this stuff's kind of out of out of sync. So I'm going to rehang things to sort that out because ironically I'd done that so that in theory then this space here would be a bit more accessible rather than like obviously at this end, if I've got something under there, 
the stuff's hitting like the top of the box or whatever so I'm not going to be pulling it in and out as much but in theory I wanted this to be like a usable storage space under this side of the hanging stuff. Okay so I have moved that stuff so that it's hung as I said the coat's a bit longer now so you're not getting quite as clean a thing but it opens up the space here and what I also did was I picked out, you can see here I've got these like copper hangers. These are the newest set of hangers that I bought when I had so many breakages that I'd run out of hangers. Uh, some of these coats here are still on black hangers, but I had some silver hangers in about this. So I've changed them over to copper as well, just to make it a bit more continuous. Those two dresses there need to go to the dry cleaner. So I've just put them in the back of the door so that I remind myself to make that trip. But I've had a bit of a disaster. Although this stuff all fits, it's definitely like you're having to like shove everything to the side to get a new thing in. And it's quite difficult because there's obviously a lot there. But because this is so stuffed, I've had a bit of a casualty. This jacquard blazer thing here, this has like pulled out. So if you guys can see that there, it's pulled here and this whole thread has come out of this like line here and that is just because there's so much stuff in there that that has somehow caught on something so that is really frustrating i think i need to get a garment bag for this and i've got here these two are both this one's from biba and it's slightly better quality the other two are river island but this is quite similar so i need to get garment bags i think for these two and obviously garment bags will protect it but it's also just like it's caught because there's so much stuff in there so that is a factor and it is an annoyance. I will be honest and say in terms of like my no buys like so I was on a no buy in 2020 for clothing, I was on a low buy in 2021 where I bought really nice clothing but not necessarily super practical clothing and then this year I've been doing a no buy again other than when I've been on holiday and I feel like I have got to a point with my makeup where I'm more willing to declutter it because I realise how long it takes to use stuff up and whatever but I feel like with my clothing I'm actually maybe less likely to declutter when I'm on an obi because I know if I get rid of something even if it's looking a bit worn or past its best like if it's something that I know is easy for me to throw on not have to think about too much if I get rid of it I can't just replace it I can't go out and buy something to replace it and I am noticing because I have totally stopped the flow in of clothing like my clothing that I wear regularly is getting worn out more quickly than it otherwise might have done so there is probably stuff here that could actually go but I'm, prob I'm hanging on to it because of my no buy. So that's just my current experience. Anyway, it is half past 10 at night. I still need to actually remake my bed, etc. So I think what I need to do is just try and get some stuff back into the wardrobe to make my space livable. But I think that's made quite a big difference just in terms of what I've done there with sorting those papers out to open up that stuff, you know, and that's also removed a box from the bottom there. I'm just going to put this back in at the bottom at the moment. Not necessarily the best use of storage space, but the kind of annoying thing about that is it fits perfectly in there. But I did have it up there, but it, because of the way that this dips down, it's so difficult to get it up there. Um, you have to sort of bend the box and then put the box up there and then like top, like feed the stuff into the box. You can't kind of fill the box and then put it up because it won't bend if it's full of stuff. Does that, I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to keep that box there and I'm going to put this box of shoes back in. This box of hair stuff I'm going to just keep here just now. I'm not going to put that back in the wardrobe because I feel like I need to go through that and actually sort out what I need access to this year and or well 2023 really probably and put the other stuff into the loft but I'll probably do that as part of my inventory taking at the start of 2023 so I think for now whilst I'm still figuring stuff out I'm just going to put that box on top of or actually under that one which has like my hair dryer curling tongue etc in it and just leave it out of the wardrobe at the moment then in terms of other beauty stuff I think this little tower of stuff just needs to go back into that space just now I don't really want it to stay there long term, but I feel like just I need to start getting tidied up so I can go to bed. So that's going to go back to where it was. So that is that stuff back in. And then that is my bag of empties as well that I've just popped back there just now. But I think, yeah, I'm going to actually just try and put some handbags just even in that bottom space there just now, which at least gets them out of being in the middle of the floor. OK, so I put the box of shoes back in. Then at the very end here... 
I've got my Henry Bendel tote bag. That is a big, massive one. It takes my 17-inch uh, MacBook. It's really, really heavy before I put anything in it, so I don't use it very much. I, I only use it if I have to take my MacBook into work. Next to it, I've got my Mulberry Del Rey, then my Mulberry Bays water. So those are my sort of big bags. Then I've put my Cambridge Satchel Company Traveller bag here. These two, this is my Cambridge Satchel Company Sophie bag, and that's my Mulberry Sutcliffe. So these are like my sort of top handle bags. And this one from Lulu Guinness kind of goes in that as well. So those, in terms of, I've got more stuff in the loft, but in terms of what's down here, those are my top handles. And then these are my crossbody bags, and that's just this Marc Jacobs old satchel thing that I'm using at the moment for work because it takes A4. Right, so I've got one clear shelf, and then this shelf, like, right, if I take the Bella Freud box out, as I keep saying, I'm a sucker for packaging. I mean, that is just an empty Bella Freud box, but I've just kept it. And then I take this out this has actually got stuff in it but right see i set that there um i'll give that shelf a quick clean so i have put my cross bodies in there um so now i'm going to put my top handles up in that other shelf i've put those two up there now the problem with the top handles i love a top handle bag they are a bit more structured so i've got this third one here but I don't really want to put it on top of them because I feel like if they lost, if their structure was damaged, it would totally damage the look of the bag. Like, I feel like there's such a wasted space there at the top of that shelf. You know, whereas because the cross bodies are a bit more smooshy generally, not quite as precious. I mean, I do keep them all stuffed and everything. But yeah, I don't really want to put another bag on top of there. I've also just kind of realised within my accessory shelf, I've got two more bags. So I'm going to put this Lulu Guinness one on the side on top of this box here. So you maybe I'll put that up there because of that actually is kind of going to fit in there. So that's just a little Zara bag, um, like, you know, high street pearl fun bag. That can live there. Then this is a Radley bag, a top handle bag uh, that again is kind of structured and needs to keep its shape. Right, I've actually, I've put that Radley one at the top there because it's actually very, very light, especially in comparison to the Lulu Guinness one that I've put down here. Uh, so I don't mind that one sitting on top quite so much. So that solves the problem of the wasted space. So this is what my accessories are, is looking like at the moment. This is beauty stuff, which again, I'm hoping will maybe redig things so that that shelf opens up. But I mean, this is, this is a vast, vast improvement on what it was. I mean, I did like it with nothing underneath and just that space. I would definitely like the space, but unfortunately I have small storage space, so space must be utilised. It can't be kept free. But yeah, let me see what's in these boxes actually. So the longchamp boxes have, there's two silk scarves in this one and one in this one. Now I technically got these to go inside the shopper bag that I took to London. I showed you in my pack with me for London, these scarves in that bag, but I feel like I, I do quite enjoy a scarf these days. So I'm gonna keep them out even though I've put the bag away because I might just wear them as scarves on their own. And then I've got two mulberry scarves there and a little hat for when I want to be cool. Let me try and open this. Yeah, see, I had a feeling one of these boxes must be empty, so I can put... I don't know if I'll get both scarves in there and get it... Sh I think this box is bigger. This is got see, the problem is, I'm not, I prefer keeping my thing... I mean, because of what we learned... I mean, you saw what happened with catching that um, blazer thing, and that's from River Island. Like, it's, it's annoying, but it is what it is. Mulberry don't really do these tree wraps anymore and I feel like I would be absolutely heartbroken if one of them caught and got ripped beyond uh, repair or whatever. So it's better to keep them in the boxes but then I do feel like when they're in... Is that dirty? No, I think it's it's just the way the light's hitting. I, th I thought there was like weird marks all over it but it's just the way the light's hitting it. It's fine. I'd be really, really heartbroken because you can't even buy these from Mulberry anymore. So I am keeping them in the box now but... I do feel like as soon as they're in the box, I and it, because I pile the boxes up, I'm less likely to wear them. I'm quite a visual person and I feel like it's a sort of catch-22 between storing things in boxes and whatever that can A, protect them and B, open up more space um, because it kind of condenses them. But also, you know, you buy these things to wear them and use them. 
there's no point in owning them um, for them to sit in boxes unused altogether. But anyway, right, that's tidied that up just from checking those boxes and putting those scarves into those boxes. So that is so much neater looking now than it was. In terms of what is left out, so this stuff is left out here, but this does need to go into here. Those two boxes have been brought out. Um, that needs to get put away. This just needs a tidy up. This is like a little box of like random stuff like face masks and whatever. And I'm I'm not feeling confident enough to get rid of mine yet. So I'm just going to keep them. Then this has been my general work bag. Those boots do need to go back in. Let me put the boots and this little thing back in. In fact, so these boxes, one's hair tools, one's hair stuff. This is camera stuff. So I do want that to go back into the wardrobe. What I'll do is I'll put that under the base washer here. Okay, so that is in, the base washer is actually at the side. I've just put the Del Rey on top of it in terms of the way the spacing worked out better. Well, I've just put that little basket thing with the face masks up in the accessories thing for now. The boots are just sitting there, opened up under the bed. Uh, so I've taken a coat out just to open this. Um, and then in this box here, I have more like winter accessories and I want to take a few of them out, namely this berry. I feel like now that I've got short hair, it could be the vibe for a berry again. So I'm going to take that out. Um, I got that when I was in high school. It was from River Island and I love it so much. It survives every single clear out. I just adore it. So it's, it's 100 years old, but I adore it still. Then these gloves are not particularly glamorous, but they are like tog rated gloves. So I'm going to take them out. So that is a Disney hat. That's my double. Ah. So I have my, my scarf and gloves from this set out already. I was looking for this hat, so obviously it was here. So I'm going to take that out. The Ravenclaw one, I really don't know if we can actually wear anymore thanks to J.K. Rowling, but also can't quite part with it. Anyone else understand that? I do love this little double pom-pom. Oh, in fact, this is a new double... This is from Six the Musical. God, how did I forget that I bought the double pom-pom hat at Six the Musical? I used to have a black double pom-pom hat. And I don't know where it went, so I bought this to replace it. Uh, do you know what? I'm just I'm going to take that out as well, um, because it's definitely cold enough for this stuff at the moment. Uh, earmuffs, got these from Accessorize about a hundred years ago. Love them. Take them back out. Uh, so yeah, the Ravenclaw stuff can stay in. So that's a Disney hat, Dis Disney gloves. I think I just said the gloves were a hat, but you know what I mean. Disney hat and gloves, Ravenclaw gloves. Uh, these are what are you? Just plain gloves. Um, they look kind of navy on camera, but they are black in real life. So I might just take them out to go with the hat. Houndstooth leather gloves. I don't know if I'm going to wear them this season, to be honest. They're one of those things that were a gift. I probably wouldn't have bought them, but I also kind of feel a bit weird about getting rid of them. Uh, leather gloves. Oh, my Christmas gloves. Love a tacky Christmas moment. So these gloves say jingle all the way and I am 100% taking them out to wear them. I think that'll do. I'll take these out as my extra winter accessories. This stuff back in and put the novelty wicker bags in here as well. So there we go. That is the, the graveyard that is underneath my bed. And that is my accessory shelf now. So I put a little glove pile back at the back and just added the hats and the earmuffs on top of the little red hat here just now. So it's not perfect, but it'll do and I can see what's there and whatever. So this is where we are finishing off tonight. I have made the bed and brought my chair back in. This is not a permanent chair. This is one from the dining room. My plan actually is, I'm going to switch that around just now before we finish off. But once that obviously is back in situ, and I've kind of figured out a better storage space for my hair tools rather than just having them in this box sitting here. There's a chair from Oliver Bonus that I quite like. It's a sort of pink velvety one and I would quite like it so that it could sit against this wall in this space when I'm not sitting at the desk just so that it's not in the way here but then it would be able to be pulled over. I've not measured it for height or anything yet, so I'm not completely committed to that, but I am definitely going to get a better chair than this one, you know, one that actually fits the room. So yeah, this is the drawer liners, stationary stuff that needs to go in there, uh, 
some boxes that we've not figured out what we're doing with yet. They're going up the loft. I'll use that bag for work tomorrow. I haven't found a place for my... I suppose I could just... I could sit the steamer just back here. Like, that would be fine. I, I mean, I kind of don't really want to be sitting stuff in front, ideally. But, you know, we need to do what we can just now. Anyway, I'm going to switch these around. So, there we are. That's that stuff moved. This is now much more accessible, so I might actually start using this stuff as I should be. And this is what we're, we're kind of left with. But as I said, the beauty stuff needs gone through properly, but that'll be a different video. I want to like tidy up my, my windowsill as well. So there will probably be a few more sort of tidy and organised with me videos coming your way. I hope this has been good. I feel like it's just been me tidying up, which is what it says in the tin. But yeah, I hope it's been nice to watch and you're taking some kind of pleasure from the before versus the after. I certainly am. So thank you very much for watching. It's now far too late to hoover. My hoover's over there. So that'll be a task for tomorrow, but it is now time for bed. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.